Hi, welcome. Now we're going to discuss steam levels. This thing, yeah, steam levels. What are they used for, and why, and how do you get them, and what can you do with them? Basically, simple fact is people must just understand this is simply just bragging rights. Now I find it quite fun, but otherwise, specifically, you get people that are high, and you get people that are really high in levels, and it does cost money. You can try and do it a free way in a way, but it, 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 it's very difficult, time consuming, and then you wait a year for some sales and you get free cards. At least you make a purchase of the game, of course, and you get some more cards. And with those cards you can sell and then you can basically buy other cards to make a set to basically get badges. And with badges, these guys will here, once you complete a set of cards, like in the previous video, you they make badges and badges give you 100 exp it does not matter whether it is a foil badge or a regular badge it gives you 100 exp and depending on how high level you are high level you are the more experience points you have to get now once you get past the level uh, 20 or so mark you will then be able to customize your your, your your steam profile page of course now i'm just going to quickly show you if i go edit profile and then yeah you can then add uh, showcases game collector these kind of things you can only have four of these things and you can select which one you want there so the high level you are doesn't mean you can put more stuff so they do limit you on how many things you can put up there the higher level you are the higher you can get there i really forgot here at roughly about 20 25 I can't remember exact amounts, however the higher level you can finally do these things. You can show off your, your games you own, you can show off your badges you've created, you can show off your achievements and these are your rare achievements. So 2% of players have this, 2% of players have this, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2% so on so forth. And of course your featured games that you want and of course your favorite game. You should actually change that to like venture capitalists because it's bloody addictive now how to basically once you've got badges you just craft them and uh, make a badge of course and then of course you get levels so I'm going to quickly show you quickly I'm going to click on levels and here it will take me to the badges directly and so I need here for example 402 experience points to reach level 58 and I've currently got that much points and I'm level 57 and I've already bought some cards quickly to give you an example so I'm going to start from the bottom especially since I don't have badges for, for these two and these were just easier to get for me so I'm going to click ready I'm gonna craft the badge you've got some items in your inventory and the items would be obviously like previous video wallpaper emotes and of course and of course that so we're going to carry on. Yeah, let's uh, go back to badges. Now we're going to go click Final Fantasies one. Say craft badge. As you can see, I need 202. Now I'm gonna get 100 here, 100 here, that's 200. So just another one to obviously boost it up. Every time you level up a badge, you get different badge. You don't see all of them, but now it's from a moon crest to a star crest, for example. Cool, that's neat. Ashes. Now you see I've got two. Now every time you buy games you get more experience points on the on the one badge and let's see if I can find 
find it. I think it's this one. Yeah. But otherwise, we're not going to go buy a whole game for that. We're just going to level up badges. Okay, so now watch what happens when I reach that. Okay, so I'm going to say craft badge. What's going to do is it's basically going to just add an extra item onto my inventory but it's not an item to have it's just it explains for you and note to self you can only have maximum five level badges so don't even go after that badge crafting and this is what happens so so now i've got my new badge i've got the wallpaper i've got the emote got the bonuses but now since I've gone le one level up it is added five slots level bonus so I now can add five extra friends to my list because if you've noticed you have a limited amount of friends list now if you you require more friends to trade and play with level up so you can add more and of course you you know add more people to trade with and this goes on and on other than anything after making your level high enough to add things to your profile there is no real need except for having friends uh, extra friends of course that you may or may not chat to to add on your profile however majority of the time it's going to be bragging rights there's no uh, it's not a real achievement it actually does cost money yeah it's cool to see other people with high levels it's quite nice to beat them if you can um, but this is entirely virtual there's no physical aspect to it but again this is entirely how you like to see it level up to make your profile you know as nice as mine for example or you can change it to anything else you i can take genius pie trap for example he's made he's got his own youtube video so do check it out as you can see here but otherwise yeah he's ah wrong guy uh, that one chicks dig it genius pie trap is his group and his youtube channel chicks dig it basically has it like he's got its item art to a showcase and he's pretty made it neat little pie flying and a pie trap guy there sitting underneath and you can do all of these kind of things it's quite cool so you can pretty much do anything with this once you get to that steam level to do this then yes you can edit your profile and of course we're going to go through that at a later stage and then yeah, hope you enjoyed my video. Other than that, subscribe and uh, in the description will be my Twitter account, my Patreon account. And of course, again, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.